Her husband, I know. who lies more, women or men? Who lies more? Women lie more than anybody ever created. Is that what you think? Women are All just better. Yeah, right. women are better. Disagree at it. with yeah. you. Well, just whether they're better at it, at it or not, is their is their DNA? It's no. started in the Garden it's, of Eden. It's men's DNA. Eve, no. Eve, y'all didn't even get the whole story. Eve told Adam that God tried to get some pussy from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, a dude wrote that the was in the scriptures guys, that y'all didn't know about. Dude, you didn't wow. read that, did you? <laughs> that must <laughs> be in the Quran. A dude, a dude wrote. Who said the Quran? The, a dude wrote the book that said there was a woman. I don't know about that. Yeah, Eve started some shit. She got Adam to eat the apple, and chaos has been in the world ever since. Okay, we got some statistics here. Cam, you want to run the, the, the stats here about men who yeah. lies more, women or men? Where you get those stats? Mm. Uh, the, the dude wrote it. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, it's a dude who was trying to get some pussy. <laughs> it's, a, it's according to a London survey, actually. Oh, yes. London. Yes, that's uh, what right. So these are what the Brits feel London. like. Um, Males tell twice as many lies as females. That's what they say. Who do you think mm -hmm. would uh, be truthful first, a man or a woman, about the, if they cheated? A woman. Corey, you think a female. It depends, it, well, that's, it's hard to say who would be honest because it depends on who you are and who you're dealing with. Mm. Some women, you can't tell them the truth. Some women, you can't talk to them because I had, hey, baby, I fucked up. Let me buy you an outfit or something. Uh, <laughs> outfit. The guilty gift. <laughs> oh, the guilty gift. <laughs> Instead of outfit. Okay, mm -hmm. this gotta love them. more from this London survey says uh, a, a man tells on average six lies a day to their partner, boss, or, co or colleagues. That makes 42 lies a week, 2,184 mm. a year, mm -hmm. and over the course of a lifetime, 126,000. 672 Damn, lies Corey? that dudes tell. Corey. The men in London depressed because it rain all the time. They just be, hey, bitch, I love you. Fuck you. Lying to this bitch. I just need a place oh, to stay. Oh, wow. And it says women lie on average three times a day. Three times a day. That's it. Mm. Women three lie even when they smile. Right. Yeah, Sometimes they smile right. at guys that they are so insincere with. Like, hey. mm -hmm. yeah, smile true. at the traffic cop. Hey, let me go. Mm -hmm. That's true. There you go. That's two lies. Right Shelly, do you agree on I that? I bet you if you run this statistic, oh, ugly right. bitches give more tickets than cute bitches. Oh. <laughs> That's, yeah. well, Let's run them yeah, real no, stats. Wow. <laughs> Um, okay. Let me go. Oh, but you here, bitch. You need to slow down. You go to traffic school. And then we also have, okay, we have another caller. We're going to go to our caller. We have Kenny welcome, from D.C. Welcome to the show. Kenny? Kenny? Kenny. Going once. Uh, I heard he never mind. He wasn't really under Okay, um, they said body language. PCS phone. Right. <laughs> body language is a great way to tell if somebody's lying. They say when people are lying, they look to their left. Like when you look at your dude or hmm. your female, when they're like trying to recall or make up something. Right. You look, look up or you look. Look up to the left. Mm -hmm. like that's what they say. So that's oh, just something. that's right. indicative of lying. Because you you're you searching the for the answers. You're trying to make some shit up. All right, we have Dave from Florida. Welcome to the show. Dave. Mm -hmm. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Great technology. Dave. Okay, okay. More, more signs that your mate is liars. lying, okay? They say liars usually do everything they can to convince you, sitting still and looking oh, at you. Hello. Dave? Dave. Don't interrupt. Yeah, what's up? Okay. Hello? What's up, Dave? Uh, what, what's your comment or question? First of all, what's up, homie? This is Dave, Claudia. What's going on? What's up, Dave? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Where my this is at? hometown boy. This is hometown boy. I'm in Tampa. You already know. But uh, to the topic is, I'm just, I'm just a 100 motherfucker anyways, man. I'm just the real up of the real. I don't lie. I just keep it 100. If you can't take what I say, then maybe you ain't built for me. I'm just, I just believe in, you know what I'm saying, some of the truest relationships that last the longest you usually a best friend. So if you're going to be your partner's best friend, you have to be open and on the table with everything. And that's just how I look at it, man. I, I give it to you raw and real. And if you can't take it, obviously maybe you're not the woman for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel I, you, I but before he's single. <laughs> before you go, let me ask you. Right. You say you give it to me, you give it to the girl raw and whatever, no. but can you take it? Like if you really love the girl and she, you ask her how many lovers she had and she tell you her real number, not the edited number divided by eight, would you really <laughs> fuck with her? Like, would you really be down with her? Because a lot of men say that, but they really can't take it. Yeah. But right? you know what? I, I would because, you know what? We all done been with people. We all done did our own little thing. So I don't look into the past. I don't I don't get fucked up on that past and shit. You know what I'm saying? That was before me. That's her past. I mean, she's a hoe and she done, you know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's draw the line. If she's a, a crazy whore and she done did some some double, you know, two guys at one time and all that shit, nah, I can't fuck with that. Wow. But if you done been shit. with... You know what I'm saying? Well, the girl that like you like with, if you can old. find out the truth about her. <laughs> you know, a lot of girls just don't admit it, but girls right. have a life before they meet you, man. Yes. I, 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 I think a woman that's been, that, that, you know, that's done all that shit before might be a better mate because, you know, 
She a lot of girls it. still haven't found themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they had that in them to do, and you don't want to meet them while they still got it on their mind to do. So That's you don't true. want to get a girl that has a to-do list. You want to go that then bend it through it all and then right. change. Yeah, bend through all kind of change. They're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> a, a girl that's been identity theft in every motherfucker. <laughs> thing. That ain't shit. We just go to the bank and we fix it like this. Yeah. Like we that. have another caller. We have Curtis from California. Welcome to the show. What's your uh, comment? About lying and shit. My, my ex old lady, I guess her and her old man been together for about four or five years. I ain't been with her for about ten. I guess he asked who had a bigger dick. She said I did. They've been fighting for the past five months. Wow. Oh, so she kept it real about your penis. And, okay. Wow. All right. That's a great call. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, all right. You'll listen to the Clyde Jones Show and the Pigeons. <laughs> Special in studio guest, Corey Holcomb. Give us a call. 877 106 we are talking about love, lies, and rumors. Has a rumor ever, or lie ever ruined a relationship? Uh, we want to know from the callers, who lies more, men or women? Uh, that's our topic. Give us a call, 877-2-106-106. We'll be back with more right after the break. All right, welcome back to the Claudia Joy and Friends show. We are here live at the Congress room at Foxhole Live, hosted by Mark Curry right after we go off. And special guest TJ Moses will be performing tonight. So come down here every Monday night. We do the show live from a packed house. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Joining us tonight, we have Camp Stunner. That's and right. And special guest, Corey Holcomb, chiming in on the topic here. Love, lies, and rumors. Has a rumor or lie ever ruined your relationship? And we're going to get into the biggest lies that men tell women and the biggest lies women tell men. Feel free to chime in. If there's something on this paper that is not here, please, <laughs> please, please get to it. Okay. <laughs> men tell women, I'll call you. Uh, no, you don't look fat. Mm-hmm. We ain't sleeping together. Right. I right. will fuck the shit out of you. Uh, I, I, I got my finances together. God gonna forgive you for all your sins. <laughs> that is not a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. After a no, while, God be if, like, bitch, you don't, have a relationship with the right. Lord and you really are confessing your sins, He will forgive you. So don't okay, so you can, believe in that. On Judgment Day, you are gonna be on that. So Shelly, I, I gotta go according this. So you can fuck up. You can mess no, up every no. single day, but then if you say no. sorry, if you're, you're straight. In, if you're intentionally no. doing things and say, oh, I'm gonna go say sorry. No, it doesn't work like that. But if you really want to live the right life and you happen to mess up, you can repent your sins and God will forgive you. For everything. Yes. If you didn't mean That's it. why, why do you think Jesus hung himself on the cross? So if we... Because somebody told you that. <laughs> <laughs> so if a girl got pregnant like seven times and she repented after every time, it's okay? Yeah. None. It's not that it's okay, no, but God will no. forgive her. Mary was fucking the dudes okay. with the bigger camels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> Right. Wow. Real quick, we're going to have more with religious talk with Corey and Shelly Rio debating the Bible. Big. <laughs> we have Sean from North Carolina. Welcome to the show. What's your comment or question? How y'all doing? Corey, man, hey, respect. How you doing? Uh, you know, me and my wife, you know, been married for 10 years, and I fucked around, stepped out. You know, I had a crazy-ass chick, and I fucked around and got her pregnant. So, you know, I had a choice to make. So I called my mom. You know, I'm like, my, you know, should I tell her what I should do? So my mom tell me, you know, some shit you just supposed to take to the grave, you know. But I told my wife anyway because it was another life involved. And, you know, my wife, she, she forgave me, but she was just like, uh, you know, you going to have to get an abortion in order for us to make this thing keep going because you ain't going to have no outside kids, you know. And then did she get an abortion? Oh, yeah. I'll forgive well, yeah, you if you kill right your seed. Yes, right. I'll forgive yes. you. What kind of girl are you with? Mm-hmm. Wow. I like you your ass. Okay. So what happened? You take a magic mountain or you give it a 450? What you do? Yeah. Well, we still together now, so I guess we good. You killed the baby. That's right. You killed oh. the baby? Yeah, she got He ain't got no baby. choice. Old girl had that baby. <laughs> what do you, have you ever made a girl get an abortion? You can't make a woman get an abortion. That's, mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with the you man. Can't. I'm sorry, have you I offered to pay for one? If a, if a girl abort your child, that means she don't see no potential in you. <laughs> no, no, if my If Kobe friend. Bryant get a girl pregnant, God damn it, she going to act like she got morals. But really, the bitch got a motive. Right. No, my friend got pregnant twice from her man, and she wanted her baby, pleaded and cried, and he was like, no, you're getting an abortion. And he, like, kicked her in her stomach and everything was like, no, you're getting an abortion. So she went and got an abortion. <laughs> and she's still with crazy. him? Yes, they are still together. That's, she's crazy. Okay. Women like crazy guys. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. yeah. A tiny bit. At I'm first. Not, I'm not going to. At fuck. first. That's the right. All right, ladies, biggest lies women tell men. Corey, you probably heard some of the stuff. So how many lovers we've had, we all have to say the number seven. <laughs> My favorite one is, no, I'm not, I'm not mad. Go ahead, tell me. I won't get mad. I'm right. Mad. We lie about our age. <laughs> right. Uh, we lie and say we love your mom, Shelly Rio. 
I Ooh. love his mom. <laughs> In the beginning, I didn't, but now he I don't do. like her. No, no, now I you do? Yeah. Oh, what happened? No, because we used to live together, and I couldn't stand her. But now she got married. Of course, and, you they know, don't live together. That's her, normal, though. So you move in with in-laws. This shit don't work. <laughs> what about he's gay? What? That's a big one. He's gay. Right? Okay. Don't worry about him. That's he's gay. LA yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just my gay friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. We're just, we're just Ooh, girl, he's cute. Who's he's that? Just, he's just mm -hmm. my friend. I'll be like, you fuck him, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> you can fuck all the real niggas you want.